I'm James Abels. I'm a member of the church. My family's been here for 40 years or so. Um, my parents were members of the church. I was raised here and then I brought my kids to Kids at Play and uh, the, pre the preschool here. My parents were part of the chancel choir and part of the bell choir. I was raised with the music programs here myself. I was in several of the plays that they used to do, um, including the children's programs, um, as was my brother. It felt like home coming back here. So we'd moved away to go to college, um, met my wife, and then we had a young um, six-month-old kid that needed a place to come come to be taken care of and Kids at Play offered that that feeling of home being back in the church and being uh, back with familiar faces it's that legacy of um, that quality of uh, community that um, you can't get at any really anywhere else right like I grew up here and plantation has been a big part of my life and so having my kids have the same experience was really important you got the first one yeah where do you sit every day? That's your chair. We have Thomas, who's been here for four years now, and you know Michael is just started last year, and so he's going to be here for another five years. This room that we're sitting in, my my child Thomas, the older one, is in Miss Sharon class here. Um, but this was my third grade Sunday school room. I got my first first own personal Bible in this room from, from the third grade program back then. My mom was a Sunday school teacher down in the fifth grade room that's now used by the three-year-olds. Um, so this building in particular has lots of fond memories as I went through Sunday school here. It was a really easy decision to come back here, right? Like when we were looking to find out where, where, where did we want to live in Broward County, knowing my wife was going to work down here, was, it was easy to be, let's go back to Plantation and let's, let's join the church again and, um, and find, a place, find our home again. I'm Diane Strickland. I'm the Executive Director of Plantation United Methodist Preschool. The mission of the preschool is to provide a quality education to children ages infancy through five years and within a Christian setting. We are trying to let families and children know that God loves them. The preschool started back in 1964 and then in 1991 the child care facility was added to the program. We have served hundreds of children throughout the years. The preschool needs a new roof. We are experiencing after an aged roof, many leaks within our classrooms and with throughout the campus. It would mean that we could continue to provide the quality education and programs that we want to provide within a safe setting for the children. The leaks cause us to have to move from one classroom to another classroom, often disrupting the academic progress of the children. We need to step up, we need to raise the roof. I'm Reverend Dr. Marta Burke, and I'm lead pastor at Plantation United Methodist Church. Raise the Roof is an opportunity for us to witness to our stewardship of our facility, and particularly our roofs right now, and our air conditioners that are 20, 30 years old. We've patched it till we're blue in the face. <laughs> even putting buckets under and changing tiles weekly uh, when it's gotten damp. We are asking for the congregation to commit to a three-year campaign to help us to rebuild the roof of the preschool. I want to see the church continue to thrive and you know a building is a very important part of that church, right? It brings you, it gives you a place to gather. I know that we can gather anywhere, you know, Jesus always said you can gather anywhere that I am, but um, that building gives us a safer place to, to, to gather together. This church means so much, and in this community, it is a witness. And so I pray that we will step up, we will raise the roof, we will raise the monies that we need to care for this building and this church for the future.